Hi, in this video, I would like to show how you can use React Markdown uh, together with a contentful field having a content of Markdown type. So you can render easily your Markdown content, which is stored in contentful in your web application. To get started that, I have created a content model, uh, thumbnail info, which has three properties. So this details, which is of type long text, this is very important if you pick the long text type, you get a chance to choose which of those um, field view you wanna take. So I've chosen Markdown here and let's see it in action. So I got something for hello. I'm gonna make this hello world. This is my field, which is a Markdown editor and I can make some changes here and I'm running this project um, which is ha having rendering my content so you see here it's hello world and demo title and let me show my code it's rendering the header the title and the paragraph details this is good but let's go to the the editor and I make this bold and publish this change Let's see what I'm gonna get. See, I'm gonna get like this. With using React Markdown, all I have to do is, I just have to include the React Markdown here. I'm gonna include React Markdown here. I'm gonna just get this. I'm gonna get this React Markdown. I'm gonna say, okay. I'm gonna get this. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna place this. I'm gonna place this. Oh, I don't have to place paragraph here, and it's just this one. I just have to place here. And you see here, I already get a bolded text. And let's see if I get this, publish changes. And I reload this. Nothing happens. Uh, it's not a code. Uh, let's give a try with um, hello HTML. It's a H1. I would expect it should be in the bigger font. You see here, it's now hello HTML. And I could also see it here. It's uh, H1 here, and it will be very, very convenient. Demo of, demo of the React Markdown, Markdown component, component. So publish this change and see the result. You see, it works fine, totally fine. So yeah, it's straightforward. You just have to import the React Markdown and just put your content here. It's very handy. Hope this is useful. Thank you.